Surprisingly, I created an animation of a caterpillar. In my previous videos, I developed a wave tool and used it to create animations of bubbles, fish, and grass. For certain reasons, I needed to extend this wave tool. And during the process, I accidentally achieved the animation of a caterpillar. Now I'll share the process and the tool with you and explain the animation's principles. With this tool, you might create even more unexpected effects. Let's get started. I created a capsule shape model to illustrate the principles of the geometry node. Create a geometry node and use the set position operation to change the vertex positions. Add a wave texture and connect it to offset. To showcase its effect clearly, I separate the XYZ components. Just changing the displacement of the vertex in the Z direction gives this effect. Adjusting the wave scale makes the result clearer. To make the wave move, add a scene time to the phase offset and use a math multiply node to control the speed of the wave. I adjust the frame rate to 60 for smoother animation. Next, I will visualize this wave to add more controls more intuitively. In the model's data panel, create a vertex color. Keep the default as fine. In the shader editor panel, delete the default shader and add the vertex color I created. Link it to the surface and turn on the material preview to see the added vertex color. Return to the geometry node panel. Output the wave information to the vertex color. Added an output. Keep the default settings. Select the previously created vertex color. Connected the wave to the output. Now, you can see the visualization of the wave's effect. Black represents zero, has no impact on the model. And white represents one, has the greatest impact on the model. This works similarly to a displacement map. Change the axis of influence can get the corresponding visualization effects. Now, let's add constraints along the axis. Add a map range node. Set the type to vector. Add a bounding box. Connect the minimum to from min and the maximum to from max. Vector adds position information of the model and geometry connects to geometry. Only constrain the z-axis to see what the effect is. A gradient occurs in the z-direction of the model. The bottom is 0 and the top is 1. What happens if we multiply this result with the wave? Create a vector math node. Chose multiply. Connect the two results. Output one to the offset and the other to the output. Now, the bottom of the wave in the z direction is constrained. Changing the axis produces different results. In order to separate constraints and waves, add a combine XYZ here. Frame select these three nodes and shift P to create a group. This part is used to control the direction of the wave. I named it wave direction. This part controls the direction of the constraints and I named it pin direction. Let's combine a constraint x-axis wave y-axis to see what the result is. The same constraint x-axis and wave z-axis. Many different effects can be obtained through free combination of axial directions. 
The animation of the caterpillar is created by mixing the effects of these combinations. I use four geometry nodes to create the caterpillar animation. The first one, pin z-axis and wave x-axis, created the effect of the upper part of the caterpillar creeping back and forth. The second one, pin z-axis and wave z-axis, created an up and down movement in the entire caterpillar. The third one, pin x-axis and wave x-axis, created a forward and backward movement throughout the caterpillar's body. The fourth one, pin z-axis and wave x-axis, it's the same creeping effect on the upper part of the caterpillar, but with different wave power settings. It's a slight tweak to the creeping effect. I can continue to add waves to give more subtle control to the caterpillar. Here, I chose to pin x-axis and wave y-axis to give the caterpillar a left and right twisting effect. That's all about this video. I will provide this geometry node to you for free on Gumroad and hope you can create some unexpected animations with it. Like this. This. Or even this. Okay, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, and see you next time.